guys I'm so painfully tired <laughs> so well today we're gonna do Leon's Friathlon uh, or Leon's Rage or whatever you call it it's it's actually a painful day and I'm, so, I'm this tired all right so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna run with four kilos on my back for 10 kilometers straight to the gym and do a gym workout intervals for like 40 minutes, one hour kind of ish. And after that, I go in directly on my trail bike and I'm gonna bike 15 kilometers in the forest. And after that, I will take my gravel bike and bike 35 kilometers on gravel. So, well, the weather is shifting. It will be starting, as I said on the forecast, with um, sun and then it will be rain. So, well, we're gonna do this. So, yeah, to have a great start, you need to eat not too much because that's what you do the day before the actual day which is the d-day which is today uh, i will do a porridge with egg in it and i'm gonna have protein drink spilled over it instead of milk so that's what i'm gonna eat and also coffee so yeah you can you can watch me while i'm making this as you can see, I put an egg in here and uh, added some water and some salt and, you know, making it like a regular porridge, but with an egg in it. So I cut off some water and put an egg instead. This is sounds nasty but it's it's great to have the proteins and the carbs and everything so you just put it on a plate and stew it around stir it around like this this is how my hotel breakfast looks like and then i add protein drink over it in my case chocolate because i like chocolate most so here we are guys seven o'clock in the morning we're gonna do leon's triathlon today and Leon's triathlon, well, it consists of 10 kilometers of running with four kilos on your back uh, and also a gym workout. So I run those 10 kilometers straight to the gym and do the gym workout. After that, we do some trail biking and that's like, I don't know, it's 15 kilometers of trail riding. And after that, I do 30 kilometers of gravel riding with my gravel bike here. So yeah. Let's enjoy this and see what's up. It's super cold outside, not super cold, but this typical Swedish summer is eight degrees and windy. So yeah, well, let's jump out and make this done. Turns out the people walk. They walk on the both sides, so you can't hear know which side to run. But either side you run on is the wrong side, according to them. Otherwise, they cover the whole trail with cars and you know. Look at this. I'm gonna shoot them. Look at the reaction. Get a bit closer. Priceless. I'm walking here. Yes, in the middle of the running trail. This is really the best part of the trail. There's some Irish idiots here. The view is still amazing. And one walk in the middle. It will not move. Look at this. I hope people understand my issues here. 
It's not like I'm making this up. It's real. So we are done with the trail running and the gym. Let's get down with the trail biking instead, the cross country run for 15 kilometers. Let's go out and ride. So yeah guys, here I am, out in the forest and ready to start my trail biking. Also, Karen's coming here too. And there are gonna be lots of walkers in the trail during this time. But well, you know, we pay attention, we say hello. They will not say hi back, but we still say hello. And the trail is kind of, boring. Well, I don't want to be negative, but it's it's not that fun. It's not like a frill, but it's good exercise and it's 15 kilometers and, you know, add that to the 10 kilometers run I did before and the gym intervals I did. This will be nice. So I'm kind of lazy today, but I'm going to bike fast. So I'm using my e-bike and I love my e-bike. It's the best. You can see here, it's super nice. Just love this bike. It's the best in the world. Best bike in the world to say specialized on. All right, enough with that. Let's go out and ride the boring trail and yeah, stay with me. It's gonna be fun, guys. It's gonna be fun, okay? So here we are at the start. It says black trail, but well, let's see about this black trail. It's not like an old black trail. It's, um, I don't know, it's made up black because it's not black. It's flat. That's what I mean when the black is flat. It's kind of slippery though, because it's so dry. Sometimes I get a meeting here, people from other direction coming, right in the wrong direction. Happens quite often actually. Start to wonder if I'm riding, riding the right correction. Direction, not correction. All right. A little bit of climbing up where we came from. Ah, what is this? It's a joke. This is disgusting. All right. This is like the most strange jump. I ever seen because no matter how you jump those, you will case it. We were still on black, so my GoPro cut off. We're still on black though. And uh, yeah, what means with black here is literally there is stones. This has nothing to do with steeps and stuff. Nothing. It's only kind of technical stuff. I would say plus two technical on a scale to five. So yeah, it's, a, it's an easy trail, but it makes it much faster. You can bike this super fast even with a regular bike. You can. The thing is, if you stop, it's kind of hard to get up again because all the stones and roots grab you and tear you apart. Look. Now it's coming. The little, little drop, double arrow drop. I mean, if you take this the short line, like here, you will be fine. You will be so fine. You can throw me through. Maybe you can jump this like that. You're good to go. But you will never ride this, and you don't care, anyways. Now we're up on the sunny mountain, Leon's Mountain. This makes Leon smile. Outside, and we're gonna 
do this ride like kind of riding through the city the first two kilometers or so and then we're gonna hit the forest so or forest or the gravel gravel trail yeah so yeah just fast forward to that <laughs> What you can see here is love, cold gravel also in some countries. And you know, it's here. And what you hear in the background is actually a motocross that's, I don't know, heating the hell out of the engine or something. <laughs> All right, anyways, here I am. We're gonna do this, the last route of my Leon triathlon, which you can call Leo Mania because that's actually what it is, because it's four different disciplines. It's not like three. And we don't do swimming because I hate swimming because it's it's boring. I love biking, so let's stick to the biking. And well, approximately I have like 30 kilometers left. Not meters, uh, 30 kilometers, of course. That's uh, three Swedish miles. So we're gonna bike that and we're gonna see some countryside and it's gonna be beautiful. We have water here, for example, or a little pond. But uh, actually the big lake is over there. So anyways, let's do the gravel. See you, hang on, be in there. Stay with me because I'm gonna get tired and it's gonna rain soon. What happened to the sun? This is Sweden. You have four seasons in one day. All right, but let's do this. Brotherhood, 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 brotherhood. It is man me. Look the cows! What's up, Sheen? So guys, here I am with my new friend. The cow there looks a little bit scared, and the other one... I think these are calves. Calves? What do you call them? Maybe? Little cows, anyways. And they're moving from me. Maybe I stink after you know this day which is coming to an end actually but i'm not done yet they're just stopping to talk to to the cows so much cows looks like a saturday night at the club only cows out all right let's get on riding again and you know say goodbye to this little friend can you talk to this there's a friend here hello Moo? oh yeah hello friend i'm your friend yes Okay. Bump the road, no shit. Thank you for telling me. I think I'm gonna call this the Grumpy Rider instead. I think that is a good main title for my <laughs> for my YouTube, the Grumpy Rider. Everything is too happy all the time, but actually, I am enjoying rain when I'm biking. Also, when I'm running, it sounds weird, but it's true. Maybe I am kind of weird after all. Huh. Don't go out there today. No bad Am I lucky it didn't happen? Some kind of meeting? Hello? Let me say hi back. Rule number one to the concrete so you never say hi. Romance right there. Brotherhood, brotherhood. Here we are, we are done for today. Four different disciplines, one day, and I'm so tired. All right, see you inside. Okay guys, here I am, back in my, you know, 
daily clothes because I needed to take off my bike clothes because they stink. Uh, for obvious reasons, I mean, I've been out in the forest the whole day, uh, running, training, biking, and, well, biking. So with that said, I'm really sorry, guys, for you couldn't see me in the gym when I do a 40 minutes uh, interval exercise. But you can look at my previous videos. It's kind of the same exercises I did this day. So because the praxis was not that I was allowed to film in, in the gym during the daytime. And, well, I respect that. Even if it's a boring rule though, or it's maybe good because otherwise people will go out there with the cameras all the time. And that suck. All right, so what you see today was like kind of natural trails compared with natural running trails compared with gravel road. And we have lots of gravel roads around here and I really enjoyed gravel roading, it's gravel biking. It's so nice. Well, it's so nice to grab a bike because it's so much freedom in it. You just sit on the saddle and clean your thoughts out. And you just keep on pedaling like... And uh, sometimes you even lose the moment <laughs> when you're out there. But it's nice. It's refreshing. Even though it's raining, it's kind of refreshing. So, I guess the biggest question is, why did you do this, Leon? Why did you do this Leon's Rage or Leon's Free at Long, which was four exercises? Well, it's easy. It's about to challenge myself. And this is my advice to you. You should challenge yourself even more because that's really good for you. You will improve yourself. It could be something like going the other direction from the bus, another way home, for example. That's kind of challenging. I mean, it's all about the comfort zone. Try to push the limits a little bit and you will learn something. You will see new things and that's nice. This I did today improve my fitness skills. I mean, running 10 kilometers or four kilos on my back and you know, all that stuff actually put my body into a limit and it's nice because next week maybe i run 15 kilometers maybe with four kilos on my back but i don't need to that's not what i'm out for i'm out for challenging myself to doing things that i think is not that fun but when i've done it it's a really nice feeling afterward it is to challenge yourself to do something that you think you don't like makes you a bigger human and also challenge yourself to take another way home from the bus or another way, way to work uh, or switch days to do stuff. Also challenge yourself because the daily routines put you in your comfort zone, which is so boring and you're gonna get boring and getting out of the comfort zone makes you live. And when you stop living, do you know what's, what, you, what you will become? A living dead. And what is a living dead? That's an old human, an old human being. Doesn't matter if you're 80 years old, if you're still living, you're still young. Or if you're 20 and not living, you're dead. Definitely dead. So, with that said, challenge yourself, like I did. Or you can challenge yourself your way, or like your neighbor way, because I don't think they challenge themselves so much. That's the biggest problem with us today. We don't challenge ourselves. We are so comfortable. We are so comfortable that everything's set up for us. We don't need to care about anything anymore. I mean, when we were monkeys, we were hunting all day long. We were out there in the forest, exploring new things, finding new stuff. I think we had more fun back then. I don't know, but I think so. Today, everything is like set up. You just go on Google and you have it at your home in two minutes or so. We are so spoiled. That's why it's really important to challenge yourself, challenge your days, make yourself live and wake up happy and challenge the day. That's it. It makes you live. All right, that's the philosophic Leon. <laughs> but I'm doing this also because to push my own limits and improve my fitness skills. That's obvious because I like to stay fit. And that's like the biggest part of my life. I've been doing this since I was a little kid. I'm that dude that never sits still. So I'm always running, biking, hiking, whatever you like to, because that's keep me alive. That's easy. Sitting inside and just staring at the wall makes me bored. That's not me. Maybe that's not you either, because you're a biker probably watching this. And you love to be out there and feel the wind in your face and explore new trails and catching new jumps and challenge new drops that you didn't before. And that makes you also grow. You become a bigger human inside of you. And that's nice. That's, that's a really nice feeling, isn't it? So with that said, I'm Leon and all that jazz. You can subscribe and like my channel here, 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 if you'd like to see more of me doing stuff. I will do a lots of other stuff too, like traveling again. Yes, I'm going ab abroad. But I will come up to that later. Jump into my Instagram, I'm Leon Official. 
well, my Instagram become like a comedy club right now because I'm only posting funny clips. At least on my Insta stories, the feed is like the boring, I mean, it's like boring me. Anyways, see you there. Cheers, arrivederci, and all that jazz. I'm Leon, peace and out.